Hello everyone, I wanted to do a quick video to teach you how to download and install the public test server for Star Wars The Old Republic. The public test server, better known as the PTS, is a way of testing upcoming content for the game. The public test server is only available during certain times when the developers have something that they want players to test. It's only available to subscribers and I believe it may only be able to North American server players so you'll have to test this one out yourself. So there's two different ways to access the public test server when it's available. The first is through Steam, and the second is through the SOTOR.com launcher. I'm going to start by showing you how to access the public test server on Steam. You'll use your same um, SOTOR account to log in, your same username and password. However, when you do install this, it will be a completely separate copy of the game. So another like 40 gigabytes or so of data. So make sure you have room on your computer and you're okay with downloading a whole new copy of the game. Don't download the PTS if um, you have internet issues or if you're on limited data or something like that or limited space on your computer. So if you open up Star Wars or Steam in general, you will not see anything about the PTS on the, the basic area where you go to play the game. Instead, you need to go to the store of Steam. You need to search for Old Republic. And basically you're going to the store page for Star Wars The Old Republic and you're going to spell it right, unlike me. Once you get to the store page, then you'll scroll down a little bit. There will be a small box. Mine is blue. It's not very big at all and it's easy to miss. It says, want to participate in the Star Wars The Old Republic public test server? Click here to install now. And that's how you'll be able to start installing it. And once it starts, it'll be in your games list, much like the real game. You can't have both technically running at the same time. It gets very cranky if you try to do that, but uh, you'll have them as two separate games. And when the public test server is uh, available to be downloaded, you can download it. It'll also patch over time. It doesn't patch automatically. So you may want to like click on it and uh, go check it. This will change to, I believe, update and you can click it to update it or play if it's ready to be properly played. And when you go to log in, it'll either say that you can actually play the game or it says it's this environment is not available right now or something similar. Um, if it's not available right now, you just have to wait and watch the SOTOR.com forum specifically on the dev tracker. So if you go to SOTOR.com, then you can go to the community, the forums, and there's two different places you can check. The public test server has info, and I also like to watch the developer tracker, which aggregates and combines all of the developer posts together. So that's how you can very easily see what are the newest posts. And the public test server is stuff specifically about what is currently on the public test server, how to access that stuff, and how to leave feedback. Now, if you're using the old school SOTOR.com launcher, for example, you're just not using Steam. It'll look something like this. It looks very similar. But instead of downloading it through Steam, you download it through the launcher. It's a bit weird. Um, so you'll have to click a button. You'll log in and you'll click this button that's a, a symbol of little cogs, like two tiny cogs on the bottom left. This will open the settings. Um, this is how you repair the game. But if you want to uh, enable the public test server instead, you take this little drop down right here you click uh, the drop down, enable public test server access and click yes and click save. Then when you're you're done, you, you'll exit out, save, whatever. There will be a new button that appears right here. And I believe it looks like two little arrows or you're going to look around your screen for two little arrows in gold somewhere. And that's how you can then select uh, pick an environment and you'll select public test and that'll let you start downloading the public test server it's very similar in that you can often start downloading the main the main assets early but you'll only be able to download any new uh special or stuff to test out close to when they're going to test it and you'll only be able to actually log in close to test server time now um the way you actually test will be different depending on what they want you to test and the way you'll figure that out is to go to the public test server check the sticky threads 
and it'll tell you what it wants you to test. Sometimes they'll allow you to tr uh, not transfer a character, but make a copy of your existing characters and copy them to the test server. That's the most frequent one, but sometimes they want you to make a new level one character and um, those copies will be disabled. If you ever need to go make a copy, that'll be available on your SOTOR.com account, my account, and I believe it might be under character transfers or PTS transfers, something very similar to that. But uh, it'll always have the instructions here if they want you to transfer a character rather than making a level one one. And of course, uh, once you uh, get that all installed and you've got the launcher up and running, got your password in, if you can't access it, it could be because you're not a subscriber. You do need to be subscribed or the test server is not available. And then once you log in, it'll let you start uh, testing out all that new stuff. Um, keep in mind that you won't have your legacy, you won't have all your unlocks and stuff like that. You'll often be, you're on like a separate test server and some things are automatically not available. For example, I believe the cartel market is just completely disabled so you don't make any mistakes. Um, even if you have the option, don't create a boosted character because it often <laughs> will steal your token and not give it to you back on the main server. And uh, lastly, always keep in mind that is the test server you're going to find stuff that's broken and you're going to find stuff that's unfinished and just provide that feedback on the forums for them um when they're testing specific things for example please test this flashpoint post not only your bugs that you find or things that feel broken post also how did it make you feel like did it feel too hard did it feel too long did it did it feel great did you really enjoy it Post your feelings as well as any technical bugs that you encounter. Um, see you guys later and have fun testing on the public test server. It really does seem to help the developers figure out um, what they need to fix before it goes into live. And some of those bugs are actually fixed before it makes it into the live server and hundreds and thousands of people will play it. See you later.